The MCOR network was set up in 2016 because as researchers and clinicians, we were seeing that cancer immunotherapy was yielding new impressive benefits for some cancer patients. Although we continue to see increasingly better outcomes today, unfortunately, not all patients respond to cancer immunotherapy. It has a profound impact on the quality of life of cancer patients and their families, as you can hear from Dave, who's been diagnosed with bladder cancer. The difference between the immunotherapy and chemo is like night and day. With chemo, you can do next to nothing. You feel so bad. The quality of life on immunotherapy is like a normal person. They gave me that time with my grandchildren. The IMCOR network connects leading cancer research institutions from all across the world for experts to address these challenges together. Importantly, work is carried out across the full spectrum of research, from preclinical bench research to clinical patient research, using cutting edge technologies to fully understand the underlying biology. As the network is about advancing science by collaboration, we share data from multiple sources and apply advanced analytics, such as artificial intelligence, to help us find important new insights from these large volumes of data we're generating. Our vision is that by bringing together leading research scientists, clinicians, biostatisticians, data scientists, and other experts in this true partnership, cancer immunotherapy will benefit more patients. We gather a lot of new ideas by talking to our colleagues in other institutions. We see what they're doing and we also share what we are doing. And this is how new ideas come about when you all share your own knowledge and, and experience. This is one of the first kind of uh, consortiums that uh, have integrated academics uh, and, and physicians and scientists working at uh, biotech as well and pharma companies. The IMCOR network, funded by Roche, supports a broad portfolio of 90 research projects as of mid-2023, investigating a wide range of cancer types with the aim to find better treatment combinations, safer regimens and understanding the underlying biology better. The quality and impact of our data so far has meant that we've published in some of the top ranking journals such as Nature Cell and Nature Medicine, achieving an impressive impact factor of 35.6. What this high number means is that they're being widely read and cited by other researchers and healthcare professionals. What I think the future holds for the network is actually about really underpinning the foundations of those of this collaboration has been set. And I think the next five years is all about positive data that actually changes the way we treat patients. As we look forward to the future, our strong foundation of true academic industry partnerships will together deliver a better, faster understanding of cancer immunotherapy to provide improved treatments in order to benefit more cancer patients.